Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Melanade Beauty. Today I am making over this small bedroom for my younger brother. It is completely outdated with these light blue walls and tight corners and awkward ceilings but we're gonna make do. As always we are gonna be working on a tight budget starting with only $300 for the entire room. Most items will be thrifted so let's just get right into the inspiration. For the walls, I wanna go dark and moody. Typically, you would see white walls in small rooms to make them appear larger, but in this case, I wanna go darker to actually make the room feel bigger. In order for this to work, you'll have to pair it with bold jewel tones throughout the room. Accent rugs, wall art, throw blankets, pillows, all of these items can be layered against that darker wall. Those bright colors will help brighten up the space without actually having to paint all of the walls white. Lastly, I wanna add eclectic vintage decor items throughout the room to give the space character and to just make your eyes continue to wander. Even though that room is small, there's always gonna be something to look at. And the first thing I am thrifting is this $10 mid-century styled side table that I'm gonna be using as his nightstand that will sit right beside the bed. Now I know for sure for one of the walls I want to do a gallery wall, so looking for cheap frames and eclectic pictures and stuff at the Goodwill is definitely the first start for when you're trying to do a gallery wall and you never know when you can find some cool pieces. Another great thing about thrifting for a room is you'll actually find items for yourself like this Pottery Barn pillow that I found for only $5 retailing for $25. I also found this little clay jug that I think would look really nice on this new bookshelf that I thrifted. That video will be coming up shortly after this one, so stay tuned for that. And just as I was leaving, I stumbled across this seashell floor lamp with this brass tone base and it was only ten dollars and i just felt like this would definitely add to the eclectism that i want to give the room i'm also going to be saving money by using items that i already have in storage for this makeover i know it needs to be organized so please do not judge the items i got uh throughout the previous months i thought this jack daniels tennessee whiskey metal plaque was so cool and vintage and then we also have some more decor items i'm going for a almost like a vintage eclectic masculine uh, vibe so this vintage globe will definitely work and i also found these um old tennis rackets in the trash at someone's yard sale, they were just throwing it away. And I was like, these would look so cool, like hanging up on the wall as some like eclectic artwork. And more vases, picture frames, mirror, throw blankets, just random stuff. I really can work with a lot of stuff in here. Six bucks for this pillow. Comforter for twenty-one dollars. That fits the bed that he has too. I'm also gonna grab these deep navy blue sheets to go with the bedding to tie in from this inspiration photo. So I thrifted some of these photo frames from the Goodwill and I'm going to be repurposing, recycling some old books that I also thrifted 
as the artwork for the walls. Um, this is just a coffee table book that I have had on my coffee table for a while and I really love the photography shots of these wild animals and I think it'll add to the masculine vibe that I want to give the room. I'm also going to be playing around with some pages that I got from a magazine I had laying around. These colors and patterns are definitely going to play well with that bold dark color of the walls. Time to choose our paint color. I automatically went for this range of different teals. I was also torn between a deep forest green color, but in the end, I ended up going with Everglade deck. So here's the room before it's painted. As you can see, it's this ugly blue that I'm just not feeling. I really tried to work with the color that it is, um, but I just feel like with the room being so small, I think it should be a bold color. So I'm not gonna go too different. I'm gonna still keep it blue, but I'm gonna go deeper. And I found this beautiful color and now I'm about to paint. So the following day, I ended up scoring this beautiful, ornate, detailed mirror from a consignment shop, and I think this would be perfect. It ties in so well with the inspiration photo. I also found this Marketplace bed frame for only 25 bucks, and we just needed to go to Lowe's and purchase some bed slats to go with it. Now we are loading up the car and on our way to go do our final touches. As you can see here, I have pre-arranged the photos that I want to add on this gallery wall on the floor for the layout. And I'm just gonna kinda eyeball where I hang the nail because these pictures are small and they shouldn't be too hard to rearrange. Now that the gallery wall is up, I can continue on with styling the bed. This makeover is almost done. I'm just gonna add a couple more finishing touches to the room and then we can jump right into the reveal. Thank you. 